Hi, we are now with Dan Fontaine, Executive Director of the Wilderness Youth Project. How are you doing, Dan? Well today, thank you. It's good to have you with us today. Dan, I know you have many programs, so what is the philosophy behind them all? As you know, families in our town want their kids to grow up happier, healthier, and smarter. One of the things that many authors that are accomplished and published on the subject of outdoor education have shown is that there's been a 30-year shift, a three-decade shift in how kids grow up. When I was six years old, 30 years ago, the bulk of my time was spent outdoors, playing with my friends, in the creeks, catching salamanders, having fun. There was very little to tempt me to stay indoors in the way of computers or television or other electronic devices. As we know, 30 years into the future, which is now, there are all these things that tempt kids to stay indoors. And none of these things that tempt kids to stay indoors support parents' goals of their kids growing up to be happier, healthier, or smarter. Parents want their kids to have good communication skills. They want them to be able to resolve conflicts. They want them to be agile in their bodies and coordinated. None of these things are supported by the immense amount of time that kids spend in front of screens, electronic screens. Wilderness Youth Project's philosophy is that we can support those things that parents want by giving their kids back that opportunity that their parents once had 30 years ago to spend that time outdoors in nature. What's the history behind this organization? When was it founded? Wilderness Youth Project was founded by Warren Brush in 1997 as a project of the Transition House where he worked at the time. The Transition House serves families that are homeless with kids and Warren realized that these children had no access to the outdoors. A lot of them were in Santa Barbara and had never been to the beach, had never been to the mountains, had never been to any of the beautiful places that we have around Santa Barbara and he wanted to take them out there. When he did, he saw incredible things happen. He saw them having hope for the future. He saw them with smiles on their faces. And another thing happened too. People that volunteered with him, people that heard about his program, wanted their kids to be in the program too. Originally it was just kids from the Transition House and from other youth agencies sending referrals to him. But then, you know, other families wanted to be involved in the program too. And that really speaks to one of our core values, which is inclusiveness. We want our programs to be available to anybody that wants to participate in them. That's great. Now let's talk about your programs. How many do you have and what's the age range? During the school year, we have 12 programs that each meet once a week. And the ages for different programs range all the way from 3 up till 17. We have a preschool program called Chickadees for three to five year olds that meets uh, in the mornings. And then we have after school programs that we break into three tiers. They're not distinguished by age so much as they are by children's abilities. What we're about is leading from behind. When we get to a place in Santa Barbara, we let the kids go first. When kids show us something that they're interested in, we follow up with questions, a tighter inquiry. Great, and you have a special program called Brandon Raptors, right? Uh, yes, this program is one of our Young Eagles programs, and it's led by Jess Sieber, one of our full-time staff, who leads four different weekly programs. Well, Dan, thank you for all that information, and let's go and meet Jess so we can know more about this class and many other programs. Thank you so much. We are back and now we are with Jess Sieber, one of the instructors at the Wilderness Youth Project. How are you doing, Jess? I'm doing great, thank you. How long have you been working for this nonprofit organization? I've been with Wilderness Youth Project for about two and a half years. And I would like to hear more about your experience. First, why is it important for you to teach outside? A priority of ours at Wilderness Youth Project is to create new learning experiences. And there are four pieces that we believe help to create those experiences. So creating experiences that are based on focusing one's mind as well as sensory stimulation, sensory awareness, and then creating those experiences by helping to push the children's edges, which means just exposing them to things that maybe aren't part of their comfort zone, as well as having a lot of curiosity about what's out there. So we believe that those four things are key to each program that we lead with the kids in order to create new learning. Now, let's talk uh, specifically about the dynamic of your 
classes, which I think you cover four programs, and one of them is the Brandon Raptors, which, by the way, we are behind the Brandon School right here. So what happens at those sessions? Well, each program is different. Um, each day is different. We go to a different location upon um, having the children come out with us. So there are parts of the program that vary each time we're with the children, and then we have uh, routines, core routines each day. So for example, we sit in a circle and have a Thanksgiving circle. So we each share what we're feeling grateful for, and that starts our program. We go somewhere, we, we pretty much see what we find, and then we close each day with a another circle, a closing circle about the favorite part of the day. Well, why don't we go and see part of your class, and you know, we find out more about the dynamic and how kids react. So let's go and check this out. So Benji asked, what is a talking piece? Because I said I'm going to use this not only as my hat, but as my talking piece also. So before I make it a talking piece, can somebody else tell, share what a talking piece is? The person who has it is the only person who should be talking to. Thankful for all the food that grows in Santa Barbara and sharing it with friends. Oh, can someone help him smell some? So we have to listen for the eucalyptus. Can anybody smell the ocean from here? Yes, that was great. All the kids were very happy and very into the class, so that must be a very good experience for you. How can people get involved? Well, you can look at our website, which is www.wyp.org, or you could call us at 805-964-8096, and then a direct email would be info at wyp.org. Thank you, Jess, for all that information. Keep on with the good work, and I wish the best for you and Wilderness Youth Project. Thanks. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.spchannels.tv.